Hi, we're Derek and Jenna. We started our homesteading journey in 2011 with five small children, a garden, and a few chicks. Since then, we've added three more kids and a whole lot of animals. We're currently renting 37 acres in the Blue Ridge Mountains where we raise grass-fed beef, grass-fed dairy, pastured poultry and pork, free-range eggs, and a large garden. We also have a couple pet goats, several barn cats, and a beagle. We're working on moving from growing just our own food to selling locally. We homeschool our children and are a full-time family with hopes and goals of farming for a living. We would love to welcome you all to follow our family on our journey. Okay, y'all. Day four of Jack and Jenna being gone. The one thing I haven't mentioned in all the other videos yet is how much we have missed them. Um, they are a huge part of what we do here. We love them and uh, we have missed them dearly. We are so excited for them to get home this evening. And uh, we have to go pick them up from the airport uh, pretty late tonight. And uh, we can't wait for them to get back home. So, uh, here we are. So, <clears throat> as I mentioned in the, in the last video, we finished one of the beds right here. The other one, Lydia is leaning against in that stage of produ production. And like I said, I've got to go get some more boards. He said he may have them ready today. I sure hope so because I really want to get these wrapped up. And uh, <clears throat> here's the canoe we worked on yesterday. And I have a smaller list. Yes yesterday, you know, we didn't really hit anything too hard. It was Sunday. We just kind of piddled around on stuff and got some things done but nothing nothing major happening so um just things we kind of enjoy doing which building garden beds but we fed the cows this morning the boys are feeding the pigs uh we got to feed the horses lydia fed buster the girls have fed the baby goats and lambs and uh i guess we've got to feed jerry here in a minute i'll probably go maybe i'll video that but um some things I wanted to wrap up in the house today, just a, one thing actually, and uh, then I don't know what we're going to get into. I'm, I'm sure we'll find something, but it's it's kind of a cloudy, cold day today, but we've got plenty to do, and we'll just bring you all along as we go through our day today. All right, the girls discovered a surprise, or what they're calling a surprise for the boys this morning. So we're going to go down here. I know what it is, <clears throat> but... The boys don't and Lydia doesn't. So we're gonna go down here and show them what it is and we're also gonna feed Jerry. So Kylie just let the chickens and guineas out of their coop. We have to leave them locked up while they milk or else they wanna come and eat the alpha hay and their undergirdies are Cookie's feet and Cookie does not like having chickens under her feet while she's being milked. Y'all go on in boys. Do I have to? Yeah, you can go in. No, you don't have to. And there's a lamb trying to escape. It wants you, Daddy. As soon as they turn the fence off, those lambs somehow know. And when Jerry they're doing, they eating. try to. Do they? Does yeah. it shock them? Yeah, and they start, they get out way fast. <laughs> <laughs> that was chewing on the net. Okay, so y'all go look under the mineral feeder. <laughs> what is that? A lamb tail. Ugh. Look at Lydia Lamb. She has what? just a short little tail now. Her tail <laughs> fell off last night, y'all. And it is right there. Oh, Josiah, do right you want to get there. that and roast it up and put it on a hot dog bun? <laughs> Ew. That is yucky. So, one of y'all toss that down over the bank down there. I'm not doing it. <laughs> you can get a stick. Well, come on, lambs. They're, the lambs are trying to get out and get to me. They think I'm going to feed them. I'm dancing. Lydia and R1 are dancing. Wow. That is ridiculous, isn't it? Jerry, he's still chowing down. So, all right. Hey, Emma, grab them a stick or something to grab that let lamb tail up and toss it down over I'm the hill. I'm not doing that. One of the boys That's nasty. Can. It's kind of yucky. 
It's a dead tail, y'all. Uh, here you go, Josiah. You can do it. You've carried skunks and possums and everything else. You can take that lamb tail and flip it over the fence. Look at opal. Jerry's done eating. Look at opal, Daddy. Daddy, look at opal. I see. Daddy, is it safe to come out? Yes, it's safe to come out. <laughs> Josiah's flicking the lamb tail. You better get it over the fence. Don't let it get tangled in it. There you go. <laughs> It didn't go, <laughs> Josiah. Did you get it? All right. The guineas will probably find it and eat it. Ooh. Okay, well, Jerry's fed. All the babies got fed earlier. Hay feeder's still working out well. Everybody is happy. Okay, y'all. It occurred to me that I have not wired my phase converters back up to my saw my meat saw and my or i guess bone saw whatever frozen meat you know or uh meat grinder and um because they're three phase motors I only have single phase power so i have to use phase converters when we help when we had our friends over the matthias we were helping them butcher their hogs i was running the saw and the grinder and i didn't know that you couldn't deadhead a phase converter which is send power to it without taking away from it and I burned up my phase converter so I've got two new ones and it occurred to me I can't grind this steer that we butchered the other day until I get my grinder back working so that's what I'm getting ready to do now I am not an electrician I'm a lot of things but electrician is not one of them hence the burn up my phase converter issue but I can figure things out usually. So I'm going to wire this up and test it. Hopefully it works. Okay, well, I've got that hooked up, I think, correctly, best I can tell. I'm going to fire up the generator, and we're going to see if this actually works. Okay, let's see here. Is this going to work or not? Remains to be seen. Oh. Stuck right on my face converter, kind of. Alright, let's make sure. Hopefully, I don't grind myself or something. Okay, it tried. I ran into this before. So, I think I have something with the wire across. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, swap two wires, and now we're going to try again. Nope. Damn. No, that's not on, buddy. I'm just working on the grinder right now. Okay, y'all. I gotta go. I gotta figure this out. I really thought I had that figured out. So, but I don't. More experimenting. Okay, y'all. That was a no-go. I don't even know what is going on with it. I've called the manufacturer of the face converter. All kinds of stuff. But uh, hey, Jakey, I got the camera going, Bob. But uh, I don't even know. But it is time to walk away from it because I'm getting more and more frustrated with it trying to figure it out. So walk away from it for a while, do some reading, make some phone calls to some friends, and uh, I'll get it figured out. I don't need it till maybe another five or six days anyway. I am going to eat something some leftovers from yesterday for lunch and then see what else is next on the list all right ate some lunch and Emma and I are going to continue and do everything we can on this other garden bed and uh, I talked to my Sawyer he said he's probably gonna have my other stuff ready today he's been sick so he's been dragging a little bit lately trying to get better but um, we're gonna do what we can on this first one I mean on the second one 
and then until just work until we run out of material so that's the plan for now okay y'all emma and i are getting ready to start some seeds we're a little bit late on some of these some of them are restarting because the other day i put these seed trays these are the little cells we had started before we got these big ones and i had kale and collards and celery cabbage my onions didn't do anything onions from here over they didn't really do anything but i put them out so so they could get more sun the other day thinking i was doing a, a favor and like an hour later i looked over and they were surrounded by chickens and the chickens decimated i mean these things were like really actually looking like something the other day and now they look like a bunch of poor pitiful little things um but i'm gonna water them and give them a chance i hate to kill something so but we are going to restart them just in case they don't do well maybe i'll keep these i don't know i might i don't know i don't need all that kale that would be a lot although the rabbits love it hmm i'll decide about that but anyway We've still got the, the project going on back here with the garden beds, but we're at a standstill because we are officially out of usable lumber until I hear from my Sawyer guy. So we're going to start seeds. I called Jenna to figure out how to get into the computer to uh, figure out to, to open up where she keeps. I guess it's um, a work. Uh, uh, um, what is that called, Emma? I'm, I'm terrible at computer stuff. Uh, a spreadsheet and to get this get open to the spreadsheet to figure out what all we're starting and she said we could start anything except for the peppers and tomatoes which yeah so we're going to start a good bit of stuff today and um we'll let you know i don't know what all it's i know it's it's a bunch but we'll see i'll tell you Okay, now we've got our cells filled. We've got figured out what we're gonna plant. Emma, what are we planting? Broccoli, Brussels sprouts, lettuce, um, celery, collards, and kale. Okay. All right, so we didn't have any collard green seeds. We had a package with the new seeds in it. So we've done celery, three different types of romaine looking lettuce. And um, what is it? It's romaine lettuce, it's rouge de hiver lettuce, and Paris Island yeah, yeah. coes or something lettuce. And then uh, they're doing kale, 32 cells of kale. And we also did Goliath broccoli and Brussels sprouts. So 16 Goliath broccoli, 16 Brussels sprouts. So that's what we are starting. We're gonna water them and put them in the greenhouse on the heat mat. And uh, hopefully they will start germinating here in the next week or so. But um, Mr. Jeff texted me and said he has my boards, my cedar boards ready. So we're gonna go grab those here in just a little while. Hey y'all, it is 9.35 and we are getting ready to head out and go get jenna and jack so they're getting in late they've already taken off from atlanta and headed back this way so we're on our way to get them that wraps up day four day five day wow five. i've lost count it's, it's been five days four uh mornings i guess yeah so of life without jack and jenna so they're headed back home we're glad to have them back so y'all be sure to uh like this video subscribe to our channel if you're not already and hit that uh notification. little notification bell thank you emma hit that little notification bell and that will uh youtube will notify you every time we upload a video we'll catch y'all later